Okay, so remember the other day I told you I just lacked a few things teaching you? One was your calculator, all right? I've already taught you that, but I'm gonna go back and review it. And then there's something on your worksheet that um, I usually just kind of let the kids figure it out themselves because they, um, they can. I think that you can figure it out by yourselves, but I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and maybe try to help you with it just a little bit. Did that work? And um, Did that I'll post it. Do what? Did we get the worksheet last time? Yes. Um, so if you don't have the worksheet, it is on Teams, all right? Um, but, and I have your other worksheet graded and it's in the box and when I get finished teaching, you can have it and look, be sure and look over it oh, and, um, and see what you missed on it so that you can understand what it was. A lot of kids missed um, inverse cosine of a negative, okay? Remember what I told you. I mean, I made you start and write beside it. That's going to be the most difficult one. You have to physically put that thing in the second quadrant. Then some of you went above and beyond. While sometimes that's nice, <laughs> this time it wasn't. You put it in the second quadrant and you put a negative on it. No. Whoops. Yeah, because if you put it in the second quadrant, that's good. If you put a negative on it after you put it in the second quadrant, that actually brings it down to the third quadrant instead of putting it in the second quadrant, okay? So don't do both things. Can you look at our worksheet in class today? Yes, okay. yes. This is not gonna take me very long, or I don't plan on this taking me very long. And then you can have the rest of the class to work on your worksheet, okay? All right, so now, I wish I hadn't started the video because I didn't put my worksheet on top. And so, and I can't find it. ones will be easy after that. So um, I'm going to give you one, two, I'm going to give you four problems. Okay. Obviously, you're going to need a calculator, so if you don't have one, you'll need to get one. I'm going to give you about, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minutes. You either know how to work these or you don't know how to work these. There's 90 cents and it's wasting time. If you don't, I'll show you how again. Obviously, one and two should be giveaway. Three and four, you gotta recall the skill.
Okay, you ready? All right, what'd you get for number one? Oh, Very good, point nine one six. Um, all you had to do was inverse functions by definition are given in radians, so your calculator should be in radians, so the very first thing I would do would be to check my calculator and make sure you was in radians, okay? The only time you will do them in degrees is when they tell you to do them in degrees. So here's what I'm saying, guys. If they don't tell you, what are they expecting? Radians, okay? Obviously, since it said round to three decimal places, I know I'm, I'm gonna use my calculator, okay? This one, what'd you get? So on this one, you went second and sine of 0.793. There's my answer. I rounded it off to three decimal places. Seven was bigger than five, so I rounded the five up one. This one, second and 10, negative 5.67. And there's my answer. All right, what about these? What about these? Did y'all have a problem with these? Okay. So um, let's talk about what you have to do. Obviously, you do not have a secant function on your calculator, so what do you have to use? His, his what? Inverse. No, not inverse, guys. Inverse is, this is inverse. Reciprocal. The reciprocal function, okay? So what's the reciprocal of secant? Cosine. So you are using inverse cosine because I am looking for what? What am I looking for right here? An angle or a side? Angle. angle. Okay. Anytime you're using the inverse function, that's why I said don't use that word. Okay. Because this is a reciprocal function. Um, it just happens to be an inverse, but you're using the reciprocal function. Um, so anytime you use that inverse r to the minus one, then um, you are looking for an angle. If I'm looking for an angle and I use the reciprocal function, I'm obviously going to have to use the reciprocal button. Where is it going to go? On the inside of the parentheses or the outside? Why? Because where are angles on a triangle? They're on the inside. Sides are on the outside. Okay? So you should have done inverse cosine of negative 1.46. Put your little reciprocal button, that's x to the minus one, right here on the inside, because I'm looking for an angle, okay? Now y'all look, this is where you have to know the difference. Does this look like an angle to me? No, because it's in radians, so I, I, I really don't look at it and go, oh yeah, that's, I mean, do you see what I'm saying? Um, it's not as easy to tell. So, I'm going to go inverse cosine, I'm using the reciprocal function, so I know I have to use this reciprocal button, x to the minus one, all right? Yeah, I'm looking for an angle. That's when I use the, the inverse function is when you're looking for an angle. So I know that my x to the minus one goes on the inside. Negative 1.46, x to the minus one on the inside. And there's my answer, 2.325. Okay, now, do you know how to do this one now? If you missed that one, you're gonna miss this one too. So go back and fix it. And look, listen to me. Do you just need to not write it? If you missed it, do you need to not write anything down and just put your answer down? Y'all, your notes are for you to go back and look at, all right? So if you miss that, you don't know how to do it, you're gonna need something to look back at. So obviously I don't have a cotangent function, so I'll use his reciprocal function, okay, which is tangent. Um, I am looking for an angle. So since I use the reciprocal function, I have to use the reciprocal button. Since I'm looking for an angle, it goes on the inside. And I will say inverse tan of 0.431 inside and I get 1.164. Anybody got a question? Questions? Okay. Um, how do you know, like, if you're trying to find an angle or a side? Okay, so um, anything, 
like this. Yeah. This. This. These give you angles. Anything, just the regular old function, um, like this, okay, these give you sides. You'll have the angle, because it'll say the sine of pi over two, the cosine of 230 degrees. The ten, you see what I'm saying? Yes. You're gonna, if you're using these regular functions, then you're going to know, I mean, you're gonna know the angle, because that's the only time you can yeah. use it, all right? Why am I using an inverse function? Because I'm trying to find an angle, all right? So if you're trying to find an angle, that little minus one goes on the inside of the parentheses. If you're trying to find a side, it goes on the outside, all right? And I kind of made reference um, to thinking about a triangle, and on a triangle, see my angles are on the inside, and the sides are on the outside. So that's kind of the way, that's just the way my brain remembers it. Okay, it's just kind of a silly way to remember. All right, is everybody okay? Okay, so um, now I want you to do this. I want you to find the exact value. What am I saying? Yeah, no calculator in degrees. Okay, find the exact value in degrees. I'm going to put four of them up here. Okay, gonna put four of them up there. One of them's gonna tell me if you really know what you're doing. Um, Are you ready? No? Okay. Okay, ready now? All right, so here we go. Um, I'm, all I'm doing is this. Inverse sine is restricted to quadrants one and four. He's positive in one and he's negative in four. If it's negative, what do I do to it? Slap a negative on it, people. That's all you gotta do. Who has a sine of one over the square root of two? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I said that and you were listening to me. Yes, no, <laughs> but that's not what the question asked. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I said the wrong oh question. God. Yeah, so one over two, what is that? Pi over six. six. Okay, but I'm in degrees, so how many degrees is that? 30. 30, and you slap a negative on it. Anybody got a question? Okay, now I mean, if you're a unit circle person, um, who has a Y 
Sign is Y. Who has a Y of one half? That's this guy right here. There's your five or six. There's your 30 degrees. Okay? Slap a negative on it. All right? Cosine. Cosine is X. All right? That's what my brain's doing. My brain's saying, ooh, who has an X value? He's restricted to quadrants one and two. Who has an X value of zero? Pi over two, which is what? 90. Thank you. 90 degrees. All right. Um, inverse tan, square root of three. If you wanted to, you could say square root of three over one, because that's what that is. So tangent is y over x. So who has a y of the square root of three and an x of one? I'm only thinking about the tops of those fractions, okay? So when I look at my unit circle, I go, who has a y of the square root of three on top and an x of the one on top? So no, no, yeah, and yeah. So pi over three, which is what? 60 degrees. Anybody got a question so far? Are y'all okay? All right, so this guy right here, this is the one that I was talking about, all right? So um, square root of two over two is the same thing as what? One over the square root yeah. So one over the square root of two. So obviously I'm talking about a 45. Do you agree with me? Okay, so he's a 45, but he's negative and it's an inverse cosine. So what do I have to do with it? Put it in the second quadrant. And guys, you, you're coming, you were, you used to come off of this one pi. Remember I'd say go to four pi over four and back it off one. And you would go three pi over four. But now we're not coming off a pi, we're coming off of 180. Because I'm in degrees. Okay, so back off 45. And where are you? 135. 135. Very good. Okay, very good. You, you can see, here he is, right here. All right, anybody got a question? Is everybody okay so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff right here that I want to make sure that you understand. Okay, because I hope that you're all good at it in radians. And while it is the same thing when you're in degrees, sometimes it's a little more difficult for kids because they're not accustomed to it. All right? So I'm going to um, I'm going to change your restrictions. Okay? But before I do that, I'm going to address. Let's say I jump. I just change your restrictions. Zero to two pi, and over here I'm going to go zero degrees to three sixty degrees. Okay, this is going to be the one that, um, this one you should be good. This one is the one I, I want you thinking about. All right? So, um, on to this side, um, if I want to. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of talk about a problem first. And then I'm going to go and address all the issues and see if we can work some problems, okay? Um, so here's what's going to happen. Let's say that I have an inverse sign and it's of a positive, okay? Now, where, where do I know he is? He's where? Quadrant what? One or two. <coughs> yeah, he's in one or two because I, I took in the whole quadrant plane coordinate plane, all right, the whole thing, all four quadrants. So he's in quadrant one and in quadrant two. Are you with me? All right, so if he's in quadrant one, where am I gonna get my answer? Okay, let's say that this is not something that you can tell that you have to put into the calculator because that's what's gonna make it difficult. Um, in quadrant one, where are you gonna get this answer? is from your calculator, okay? This is what your calculator is gonna give you, okay? Remember that your calculator is restricted to quadrants one and four. We know that there are, we can make two answers, but remember, we changed the restrictions. The restrictions are one and four. He's positive in one, and he's negative in four. Those are the ones the calculator is gonna give you, okay? So calculator is gonna give me in quadrant one, so I'm like, oh, okay, I got that. Um, so, how am I going to put it in quadrant two? By doing the same. Yeah, okay, but, and I'm in radians. And it's 
not going to be something I'm familiar with. It's going to be some stinking decimal thing. How do you put it in quadrant two? You subtract it from pi. You subtract it from pi, and that's exactly what you're going to do. Pi minus um, whatever the calculator number is. Okay, now um, over here on this guy, um, quadrant one, still gonna get him from the calculator. Okay, quadrant two, I'm in degrees. So how are you gonna do quadrant two? Subtract it from 180. Yeah, subtract it from 180. So you're gonna say 180 minus the calculator number. All right. So when you're in degrees, you use degrees. When you're in radians, you use radians. All right? Um, so what is, I'm only going to do inverse sine, and then I'm going to go down and draw you a picture and see if that helps some, and we'll work some problems to find out. All right, so what if it's an inverse sine of a negative number? What quadrants is he going to be in? Three and four. Okay, he's gonna be in three and four. Now, what's the what's the calculator gonna do? It will give you four. Four, but is he gonna be within these restrictions? No. No, because why, Tex? What's he gonna do to it? Because it would be a negative. It'll be a negative. He's just gonna slap that negative on it. So he's not even gonna be within my restrictions. He's not even gonna be an answer that I can use. Okay, so let's write that down. The calculator will put in quadrant four, but it's outside your restrictions. Okay? So here's what you're going to do. All right? And it's outside your restrictions because he put a negative on it has a negative on the angle. All right, so here's what you're going to do. The very first thing I would do is I would remove the negative. Okay, that would be the first thing I would do. I, I would just disregard the negative. And now all I'm talking about is the reference angle. Do you understand that? Once you remove that negative, that's how far down you go off of the x-axis. So now it's my reference angle, okay? Use your reference angle. All right, so how do I put him in quadrant three? Yes, so on this one, you're going to go pi plus the reference angle. How would I put it in quadrant four? Very good. You're going to go to that two pi and you're going to go minus the reference angle. All right. You're going to do the same thing over here, but instead. Wait, is the first one two pi plus? No, this one's just pi plus because you're at the 180. You're trying to put it in third. So you go to that 180 and you push forward whatever that angle is. Okay? And then you're going to go to the 360. I'm going to draw you a picture and I'm hoping the picture helps a little bit. Um, instead of pi and two pi, you will use what? If I'm in degrees. Yeah, 180 degrees and... 360 degrees. Okay, so that's the only thing that's going to be different over here. All right, so now I'm going to draw you a picture. I'm going to see if this picture, you know how they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, let's see. All right, so here's my, here's my um, coordinate plane. This is zero and two pi. This is pi over two. This is pi. And this is 3 pi over 2. Are you with me? 
all right? Now look, I'm only going to do the pies because if you can do the radians, should you be able to do the degrees? Yeah, the only thing that you're going to change is this instead of 0 and 2 pi, it's 0 and 360, okay? And then this is 180. Now, which one of these do we not need? Where do you always come off of? The x-axis. The x-axis. So who do we not need, guys? The y-axis. Yeah. You don't even need these guys right here. Okay? I don't even, why do I not need those? Why? Because you always come off the x-axis. We've been saying that since day one. Okay? You always come off the x-axis. All right. So let's put our directions in here. Um, now, I am going to make this little note over here. If my calculator gives me a negative, I am going to remove um, the negative. Is this all in my group stuff? Yes. Okay. Always remember to remove the negative sign if the calculator pops a negative sign on there. What he's doing is he's pulling it. He's keeping it between those. Remember how we um, we made it a one-to-one -one function by restricting it? Okay, and he's pulling it down here in this fourth quadrant from zero to negative two pi, and that's not within the restrictions that we're talking about. Okay, because we're talking about zero to two pi and zero to 360. All right. So, first of all, if it's positive, man, it's going to give it to you. You don't even have to worry about it. All right? So, what if I need to put it in quadrant two? What if I, now, if it's cosine, will it put it in quadrant two for you? Inverse cosine. Yes, very good. Cammie's over there going, yes, people, it will, it will. Okay? It will put it in there because that's what it's restricted to, one and two. All right? But... If it's inverse sine or inverse tangent, and you need to put it in quadrant two, the calculator is not going to do that. He's going to put it down here with that negative sign on it. So you're gonna remove the negative, and then how am I gonna put it in quadrant two? Oh, subtract from Yeah, pi. you're gonna say um, pi minus whatever the um, calculator angle is, okay? What if I had to put it in quadrant three? Tell me what you're gonna do. Yeah, then you'll say pi plus the calculator angle. All right? All right am I making sense? You're still doing the same thing that I keep telling y'all to do. You're going to pi and you're backing off that much. That's why we're taking it off. You're going to pi and you're pushing forward that much. That's why we're adding it. Okay? How am I going to put it in quadrant four? Yeah, go to two pi and back off that. So it's going to be two pi minus the calculator angle. All right, so let's see if you can follow these directions, all right? And um, I, I only have, what is the calculator? How do you find the calculator? You're gonna put it in the calculator, okay? I'm gonna do some for you so that you know what I'm talking about, all right? But basically, this is what you have to understand right here. This is what you gotta know, all right? How am I gonna put it in those things, those places? All right, so here we go. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really what we've already been doing with the unit circle. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. The only thing that there's going to be one thing in it that you've already learned, but some of you won't remember. Um, so, and it's going to look different because it's not going to be familiar to the, to you, okay? Evan, are you with me? Yeah. Okay. find theta in degrees, minutes, and seconds, all right? Degrees, minutes, and seconds. So here's the first one we're going to do. I'm going to try to stay on the same track for the first three, and then the second three, they're going to kind of address the other issues. All right, so here we go. The first one, inverse sine 
0.215, okay? Now here's the problem. You don't look at that and go, oh, I know what that is. If you knew what it was, I think that you could do it a lot easier, all right? You're still using the same skills, but it's just applying it a little bit differently. All right, so you want me to help you with this one? Yes. Okay, so here's what I would do. The very first thing I would say, all right, where is sine positive? Because that's what this guy is. This guy's it's positive. It's a degree, right? It's telling you zero degrees, 360 degrees. It's telling you it's a degree. He's not a degree. I'm finding an angle in degree. This is an inverse function. Yes. When you use an inverse function, when you're looking for an angle, yes. okay? So I'm looking for the angle who has a sine of 0 0.215, all right? And then they want me to put it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. I'll worry about this in a second, but you already know how to do it, okay? Not gonna be hard. So right now I'm going, okay, some of you are looking around like you don't remember how to do it, but I'll show you once and you'll be it's like, oh, okay, like this, that's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here we go. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is say, what's my sign and where am I, okay? His sign is positive. Where is sign positive? Quadrant one and two. Okay, quadrant one and two. Where is one going to come from? The calculator. the calculator. He's going to pop it in one, guys. Okay, and then how am I, okay, so this is from my calculator. All right, so how am I going to put it in two? Pi minus. Pi minus, but I'm in degrees. So 180. 180, so I'm going to say 180 minus um, the calculator angle. Do you see what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you gotta be thinking, all right? So, what's the first thing I have to do on my calculator? Find the angle. Make sure you're in
Mm -hmm. Literally ground the last one. Four. One. Mm -hmm. yeah, we used to All right. So anybody got a question? Okay. So can I give you the next two and you do the next two? Yeah. Do you think so? Yes. yes. Okay. So here we go. The next one is inverse cosine of 0.738. And number three is going to be the inverse tan of 17.42. Okay? Do you want me to wait to work on or you want me to go ahead? Okay, can I start? All right, I want you to have some class time. I don't want to take up all your class time. Okay, so positive. Where's cosine positive? One and four. Now watch what I'm fixing to do, guys, okay? I'm fixing to talk to myself, and before I even look at the numbers, and here's why, because are the numbers pretty? Y'all, the numbers are not pretty, okay? So before you even look at the numbers, think in your head what, how you put them in these places, okay? So which one is the calculator going to give you? The first one. Inverse cosine is restricted to quadrants 1 and 2. He's positive in 1 and he's negative in 2. So he's obviously going to give you this guy, okay? So this one comes from my calculator, okay? All right. Now, how am I going to put this in the fourth quadrant? 180 plus 6? No. no. That Sorry, one. I'm talking about the second. I'm not talking about the last one. Okay. So how are you so going to do? put it in the fourth quadrant? 360 oh. minus. Yeah, you're going to go to 360. Look, you're going to go to this 360 right here, and you're going to pull off that much that he gave you right here. All right? So you're going to say 360 minus the calculator angle. Are you with me? I did two pi ones, but that's cool. Okay, so that's why it was crazy. Um, and, and you would if I were in radians, but I'm not in radians, okay? So I'm going to take my little calculator, all right? And I'm going to go um, inverse cosine of 0.738. So here's my angle. 
I do need this angle, so I'll go ahead and go second and angle and push him into degrees, minutes, and seconds. And that will be 42 degrees, 26 minutes, and what, 19 seconds? Yes? Yeah. You with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to, do you see how much easier it is when I just go ahead and think about it without looking at the angle, all right, and just write my directions down? Oh, well, now I just go 360. I want to put it in the fourth quadrant, so I'm going to back off that 360. You're always coming off of the x-axis. So it's either 180 and 360, or it's pi and 2 pi, okay? So 360 minus, I'm going to jump up here and grab that angle because I don't want to be typing stuff again. Um, press enter and then again I'll go second and angle and push it to degrees, minutes, and seconds. He will be 317 degrees, 33 minutes, and what? 41 seconds. 41 seconds. Very good. Okay, so before I even start messing with my calculator, I'm going to use my brain. All right, so where is tangent positive? One, three. Okay, so I'm going to quadrant one, and I'm going to quadrant three, okay? Um, which one's the calculator going to give me? The one. the one. If it's positive, he's giving you that one. It's the negative ones that are going to be a, a, a little bit of a problem for you. All right, so this is my calculator. How do you push something to the quadrant three? 180 plus. Yeah, what, you go to that x-axis, it's 180, and then you push it forward so you add the calculator angle. Okay? Do my notes make sense to you? Mm -hmm. All right. You need to write your notes, people. You need to know what you're supposed to be thinking. All right? So I'm going to go inverse tan, and I'm going to go 17.42. Um, answer, degrees, minutes, seconds, 86 degrees, 42 minutes, and 52 seconds. I'm going to go plus 180 because that's the same thing, okay? Addition is community. So I'll do this, change it two degrees, minutes, and seconds, and I'll get 266 degrees, 42 minutes, and 52 seconds. All right, anybody got a question? Okay. All right. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do two things. First of all, I'm going to make these negatives. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult, okay? Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is instead of saying ra round it to the nearest second, I'm going to make you round it to the nearest minute. <laughs> so this is going to tell me, yeah. So it's yeah. like 30 seconds or more, you, 30 seconds or more? That's exactly right. So this is going to tell me, do you know what you're really doing? Okay, because you can't say if it's five or bigger. It was a half of a minute. What if it's exactly 30 seconds? What if it's 0.5? What do you do? There you go. You see what I'm saying? That's a transfer of knowledge. All right, so here we go. Number four. All right, number four. I'm going to do the inverse sign of negative 0.45. Okay, y'all listen to me. I'm doing the exact same thing. There's only going to be one issue that I'm going to have. Okay, and you're going to have some, an issue with every one of them. All right. So the first thing I'm going to say, he's negative. Tell me where sign is negative. Three and four. Three and four. So I'm going to have to put this in quadrant three and quadrant four. Okay? Now, which one is my calculator going to put it in? Quadrant four. Quadrant one. Three. Five. Four. 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 He's going to put it in four, right? But yeah. is it going to be within my restrictions? No, he's going to have that negative on it. He's going to slap that negative on it. And so I'm just going to take the negative off. And then how will I put it in quadrant three? I'll add 180 to it. How will I put it in quadrant four? I will subtract it from 360. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So the only issue really is that he's going to push that negative on there. Okay. So I'm going to go, um, let's write down what we were just thinking. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the negative. Is that from the 0.45 or from no, the answer? No, from the answer, okay? 
Um, remove that. I'll, I'll write that down from the answer. Don't remove the negative from this guy. Then you'll be messed up. All right. So, um, oh no, you didn't say that. All right. So here we go. Yeah. How do you put it in quadrant three? One eighty plus. plus. Yeah. So you're going to say one eighty plus the angle. And how do you put it in quadrant four? Two. Three sixty minus. minus the angle. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. Not a big deal. So I go inverse sine of negative 0.45. So here's my angle, all right? Now, you can remove the negative one of two ways. You can either go up there and grab it and then go all the way back to the front of it and delete the negative, or you can pop a negative and go back up there and grab it, and he'll do the opposite of this negative, and then he'll remove the negative sign, okay? Like the yeah. Long way back. The long way, that's fine with me. It makes no difference. So now I'm going to add it to 180. Y'all, you don't have to turn it to degrees, minutes, and seconds until we want to write it down. So I'm going to say plus 180, although if you did, it's not a big deal. Okay, so there's my angle. I'm going to put it in degrees and minutes and seconds. So I'll go second and angle. Choose number four. And here's my answer, all right? So it's 206 degrees. And how many minutes? Because I'm asking you to round to the nearest minute. 45. Very good. Okay, 45. Why? Because 37 is more than half. There's only 30, 60 um, seconds in a minute. All right, now we're going to do this guy. You have to go back and use this angle right here. Do not use this angle. All right? You have to go back up there and use the one. So you're going to say 360 minus, go back up and grab that 26. Wait, but the other one is you do grab the one before, right? Yes. Okay. So grab that, and then there it is, second and angle, choose number four, and that's 333 degrees and what? 15, 15 minutes, because 22 is not half. All right, so you ready for yours? I'm going to go ahead and do cosine with you, and then I'll, I'll put the tan up here and let you do it. Um, so the cosine is inverse cosine. You're going to see why I'm going to put it in there. Negative 0.62. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to think about this thing for a second, all right? So first of all, where is cosine negative? Okay, quadrant 2 and quadrant 3, all right? What's my calculator going to do? Yeah, this guy right here is my calculator. Okay, this is my calculator. Now here's where the issue is going to come in. You're going to have to figure out what the reference angle is. Okay, to put it in quadrant three, I have to add the reference angle to 180. All right, so how am I going to find the reference angle from this guy? It would be 180. Yeah. Yeah, so here's what you're going to have to do first, all right? So you're going to have to say 180 minus the calculator number. That's going to be my reference angle, all right? Now, using my reference angle, how do I put it in quadrant three? You add it. 180 plus the reference angle, okay? And that will be my answer, all right? Sounds a little confusing, but let's see if we can do it. Okay, you with me? All right, so let's go inverse cosine, negative 0.62. There's my angle. Do I like him? Yeah, he's in quadrant two, just like I thought he was gonna do. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go with this. Second and angle, choose number four. And round it to the nearest minute and tell me what you get. 19, very good, 128 degrees and 19 minutes, okay? Y'all don't have to worry about it. The calculator's gonna take care of it for us, so it's gonna be okay. So now, here's the deal, okay? I'm gonna draw you a picture of what's going on, all right? Here's my coordinate plane, all right? And you're over here at 128. So you're like right here. 
128 degrees in 19 minutes, okay? So what I need to know is this is my reference angle. That's my reference angle, okay? And in order to put it in the third quadrant, that's what I have to add to 180. So I gotta find that. So we said if you took this 180 and subtracted this blue part out, you'll be left with the green part. Do you agree with that? And then I can take the green part, push it down here and add it to the 180, and that will be my answer. Okay, so this is a visual of what's going on. Wait, so you're doing 180 minus that? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go 180 minus this angle right here, okay? That's my reference angle. I like the way he looks because I know a reference angle is acute. He's between zero and 90, and he can never be negative. That's why I didn't do it the other way, okay? So this is this angle right here, 51.68. So how am I going to put it in this quadrant? Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm gonna say plus 180, and that's gonna be my angle in the third quadrant. Now I'll push it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. And there he is. 200, sorry, 231 degrees and what? 41. 41 minutes. All right, so you want me to put the last one up here? Yes. I'm just gonna put the last one up here and then I'll write the answers. I'll give you just a minute to think. Are y'all writing your thinking stuff down? Yes. You should be. Okay. Huh? So I won't write the thinking stuff down. I'll give you a minute to write your own thinking stuff down. And then I'll write it down and I'll put the answer up there and then I'll stop the video. And then you can, um, if you have a question, you can ask me. Who is this one going to be like? Who's? Song. Yeah. Y'all. When you remove the negative, that gives you the reference angle. That's what it really does. It makes it the reference angle. Okay? No, because remember your restrictions. There are one and four for sine and inverse sine and inverse tangent. Okay, four, he's slapping that negative on it, which is a little bit of a problem for us because it's outside what we wanted our restrictions to be. So you just take the negative. 
that you just take the negative off, you got the reference angle. And then um, cosine is one and two.